In the previous tutorial, we deployed a video using Swift Object and JW Player. In this tutorial, we're going to add some non-video content to that same web page, and we're going to use some of that non-video content to position the player on the web page. So this is the project that we created in the previous tutorial. And this div tag gets replaced by the video. And you'll notice that's everything in the body. Everything that's visible on this web page gets replaced by the video. So this div tag never gets read by the browser unless the necessary version of the Flash Player isn't there, in which case the alternative content and the download Flash button show up. The fact that this doesn't get read by the browser when the video is shown means that you cannot use this div tag to reposition the video. So for example, if I try to add an align attribute here, align center, and then test that, it doesn't accomplish anything. The video is still in the upper left hand corner of the browser. So I'll just get rid of that because that is not useful for our purposes. I have to add the content that I want to see above and below that div tag. So let me go to this file where I've got some material to bring into this. Let's just take a look at this in design view. So I'm going to add this and this to that file. So I'm going to control C that to copy it. Go over here, go above that div tag, control V to bring that in. So I just brought this in. Notice the table and it's got an align equals center in it. And go back here Grab this, control C, and go below the div tag, and control V. So I just added that. I'll control S to save that, and let's test. And there's that non-video material, and there's the video. So just remember that the div tag will get replaced by the video and write your HTML such that with just the video in there, the things that you want to happen will happen outside that div tag. And that concludes this tutorial on adding non-video material to a project using Swift Object and JW Player.